Start with Why by Simon Sinek Today, most organizations still rely on the same traditional strategies to motivate their employees, as they give them financial incentives to carry out their tasks or threaten negligent employees with penalties as a result of their negligence at work. If you are a team leader, then at some point you will need to motivate your team to achieve a certain goal. And unlike traditional methods of motivating employees, good managers use to inspire others to achieve the desired goals instead of using rewards and punishments methods. You find them instilling their teams the desire to achieve success. This type of motivation has a much deeper effect than financial incentives among staff members. We find employees who follow their leaders according to an inspiring goal rather than a financial incentive, investing a large amount of their energy and skills and making greater personal sacrifices in order to achieve their desired goals. All of this is the result of their belief that their work and pursuit is directed towards achieving a noble and inspiring goal, not just a financial incentive. Before the beginning of the 20th century, flying was an impossible and long-range challenge for humans. Until the Wright brothers built the first motor-operated airplane in the year 1903. Unlike their aviation competitors, the Wright brothers didn't have a trained staff nor relationships with industry giants or investors. Fame and wealth were not the key driver for the Wright brothers to achieve the dream of flying but rather their primary drive was achieving the challenge of making the impossible possible. This dedication to work was the major key of their success and this was exactly what distinguished them from their other competitors. Be to remember, if you want to motivate others, then you should inspire them to achieve a noble goal instead of tempting them into gaining financial incentives. The concept of the golden circle introduced by the writer Simon Sinek is based on a golden circle consisting of three concentric circles. The central circle is called Why, which is wrapped around the middle circle that's called How, and an outer circle called What. The outer circle What describes the object in question as a commercial activity or a task carried out by a team or a product that the company seeks to produce and market. The middle circle how describes the way in which the circle what is achieved, how the product is produced or the task in question accomplished. In contrast, the central circle why describes the ultimate goal of establishing the company or organization. Why was it established and what's the main goal of its activity? Although all these three factors should be known in advance, many companies and organizations don't have a clear picture of their why circle, as they are not aware of the main purpose behind their foundation. In this regard, we must note that achieving financial returns is not a sufficient answer to the circle why, it's only a consequence of the two circles what and how, and it's not a noble goal in itself. The golden circle concept provides a model for leadership that can serve as a basis for creating a successful organization or company, and a basis for inspiring others and leading them towards the goals of the organization. Ultimately, leaders must make an effort not only to establish an understanding of what the team does or how the team accomplishes the tasks assigned to it. But also, leaders must instill the concept of why, which is a concept that's often ignored in a lot of organizations. Be to remember, the concept of the golden circle is a great tool to motivate and lead others. When we are making decisions, we usually focus on the reasons, the why circle, rather than the what circle. This is because the main motivation behind the decisions is more important than the object in question itself. That's because the why circle enhances the sense of belonging for the people involved in the decision, regardless of the decision taken. The what circle is merely a purely logical concept, technically easy to be defined in various activities, but it lacks the emotional aspect that the why circle provides. 
which guarantees the stability in the mind and the influence on other people's emotions. Because of this, people in leadership positions who want to encourage their teams to accomplish a task always start by explaining the reason of what should be done. In this way, they create a sense of belonging in the working group, which drives the employees to the overwhelming desire to accomplish the task assigned to them. When people feel the emotional belonging with something, they invest a major part of their lives for it. You find them seeking campaigns to achieve a demand or a goal. Or they spend huge sums of money to buy products and brands and even use them as their symbols to show others their identity and the identity of the products and the brands they prefer. Therefore, leaders begin by explaining the essence of the golden circle. They first explain why they do what they do, then how they do it, and what's their product in the end. Apple Company is a good example of this phenomena. Apple used a slogan that says, Think different. This slogan emphasizes their philosophy of challenging the status quo and delivering their message and goals to the customer. Apple's How Circle is an attractive and easy-to-use approach. And finally, Apple's What Circle is computers, smartphones, tablets, and other smart devices. Be to remember, successful leaders begin to establish their golden circle from the inside starting with the Y circle. Unconventional business strategies or creative ideas alone are not the cause of the emergence of successful companies. If we look at the most successful global companies, we find that they motivate their loyal employees and customers by focusing on the concept of why, and focusing on the moral reasons and motives that drive the company to practice its activities or to produce the products it sells. We find that these companies believe that this strategy is the best way to implement the most successful ideas that these companies generate internally. It believes that factors such as financial resources and expertise are only secondary elements in the way of achieving success. By inspiring others, these companies establish a concept of dependency for their loyal employees and customers. Therefore, we find that those employees and customers who believe in the company's goals and are aware of the reasons for its establishment and goals are the most loyal ones to it. And with their support, the company is able to radically change an entire industrial sector or even the entire world. For example, the American motorcycle manufacturer Harley-Davidson has built a huge community of loyal followers for more than 100 years. For its customers, Harley is not just a motorcycle, it's a much more important symbol than that. So that you find them willing to wait several months to receive the motorcycle they requested. And you find that many of them greatly appreciate the company's logo, which leads them to print it and put it on their various properties. A large number of them even tattooed the company's logo on their bodies. Companies that follow this approach and focus on asserting that they have a purpose and a clear cause don't usually have a problem in distinguishing themselves from others, which gives them the luxury of largely ignoring their competitors. As a result, they can be more stable and creative than others and don't need to copy others. Additionally, when companies have a specific personality and a clear cause, they are also able to attract the best employees which is invaluable when it comes to enhancing the business's presence and sustainability. Bit 3 member, the most stable companies are those that focus on creating a clear and effective Y circle. Thanks for watching. Please follow our social media accounts. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel.